Okay, this video for the massage therapist. I'm highly, I'm doing massage therapy for 15 years and I'm literally last couple years, I don't see a lot of therapists do a postural assessment and assessment of uh, the client. So they just, uh, maybe they know a lot. So this is the good thing, but most of the time you have to check the balance, uh, do some assessment on the clients to understand what's going on and uh, the problem. Because most of, most of us, it's chasing the pain and I was I was there I know I always chasing the pain but uh, later with many years experience I find out it's not uh, it's not the case the most of the time it's a compensation in the body and you have to do assessment to find those out and plus do some specific tests to find out where is the specific uh, the problem is and of course work on that so uh, and one more tip for you guys if you do standing ask the person uh, Cleo clients what most position he's spending his time and uh, ask him to, to follow this position. Let's say um, you did standing, now you do sitting. And you guess what? If you look at me right now, my right shoulder is a little bit high right here, okay? But if I'm sit down, it's even now. Why? Because this compensation has happened here in my rib cage. So I'm probably drop my rib cage up here and drop that shoulder at the same time. So Please take a look on this, uh, do assessment in two position, even maybe in three, three positions sometimes on the floor. So this is really important to find out and start correcting that. Work in the, on those uh, rib cage muscle, activate those breathing and help this person, help the person to get out of this uh, painful pattern. So what we learned today, do as many as, as, as possible uh, assessment or tests to find out the problem and don't chase the pain because it's going to be in 95 percent cases it's going to be the wrong way okay thanks for watching and i hope you find this video really helpful for your practice